next guest is quickly making a name for himself. Well, he claims to be the greatest comedian ever. Big words. This year, he's bringing his show... Wait, he's bringing his show Hit a Pigeon with his bike to the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Please welcome Lewis Garnham. Lewis Garnham, good morning. Thanks for joining us. I forgot that I'd called myself the greatest comedian of all time. Yeah. I you know, stand by it, though. Good, Absolutely. Good words to stick by. I mean, I suppose the obvious question on everyone's lips is, did you actually hit a pigeon with your bike? That's uh, Yeah. As soon as I mentioned the name of the show, that's the first thing anyone asks. Mm. And yeah, I did. And <laughs> it was more horrific than you're currently imagining in your head. I'll are tell we, you that much. Are we allowed to get the story now? Or you can, is that- yeah, yeah. I'll, I, I will tell it on stage, but I'll give you like the, the short version. Yeah. Um, firstly, I want to say that like I don't think it was entirely my fault. Like this bike <laughs> yeah. lane was mm. full of pigeons. Like yeah. I don't know what was going on in the pigeon community on yeah, this right. day, but they were all like, let's meet at the bike <laughs> lane. <laughs> the density of pigeons was yeah. so... Like I could barely see the road, you yeah. know? Like, oh, if uh, I'd missed the one that I hit, I would have hit another one yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah, for, sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So were you, did, did you choose not to break speed? And you, <laughs> yeah. It was, was like, like a, up, he was it? like, I'm human, you're animal, you will move. It's First a- hole in the story, <laughs> yeah. Another important detail just on that is that this was... I've never owned a bicycle, right? Right. And I I bought the bike and then this happened the next day. So, this (laughs) was my first day riding on the bicycle. And, like, it's there's quite a lot of pressure. There's other bikes behind you and stuff. So, I didn't want to suddenly break. I don't know the etiquette. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. What's true? I mean, you could end up hurting a a hit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, a lot of people say, uh, when I tell them this story, they're like, I've hit birds with my car. It's not that big of a deal, but... It's different. It's on very the bike. intimate on the it's bike. Very, so, yeah. so you, so it was a stationary pigeon. It wasn't. <laughs> so, because when I saw the title of the show, I thought, oh, it flew like That's into your helmet thinking. or something. It flew or, in. Yeah. It but flew you in. just, you just ran over it. Yeah, I don't know how graphic we want to get, but like, <laughs> did you help As it? I was sort of a foot from it, it like flooded its wings <laughs> to escape, <laughs> and so I did hit it while it was off the ground. Yeah, so right. Like, <laughs> was it a hit and run, or did you? Uh, I pulled over and <laughs> you tried to get me out the mouth. I, I, thought, I thought maybe I can give it some CPR or yeah, something, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it was too late. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so sad. But look, I mean, not many pigeons get a um, comedy festival show written about them. Yep, so exactly. this is oh, you know, that that's well, it's the, the silver lining. It's yeah. the silver lining. Lewis Garnham uh, joining you this morning on Nova One Hundred. Lewis, you're, you're obviously you're a comedian by night. We know this. You, you know, you're a, an amateur cyclist. Um, <laughs> you know, you've, you've got a one amateur hit and murder. run, Very one amateur. hit and run to your name. Um, uh, that's that's all uh, by night, but by day uh, you work with kids, and you obviously get a lot of your m- material from some of the things that these kids are saying. Absolutely, yeah. I'm a teacher's aide, so I just like support kids in the class who need extra help. Um, sometimes when I'm helping out in these classrooms, I can't do the work. Like I like I'll be in a, mm. a year nine maths class, and the kids like you know how do we find the angle of this triangle if yeah. we only know about these two sides? How do we? And I just have to be like. I reckon we asked the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Tana. embarrassing. <laughs> the teacher no, I... comes and explains it to us. <laughs> and then, like, that teacher, they're my colleague, technically. Yeah. Yeah. But it's such a weird dynamic. Like, I'm in the staff room with them later, yeah. talking about what we're going to do on the weekend, yeah. and I have to be like, you know, thanks for that Pythagoras <laughs> stuff. <before." laughs> well, look, make sure you see Lewis's show, Hit a Pigeon with his bike at the Melbourne Town Hall. Tickets are available at comedyfestival.com.au. All the proceeds going to the Pigeon family. Um, So, you know, it's it's really a nice thing that Lewis is doing. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me.